from the very first day in which we came into this world, we were placed in a situation, in a circumstance, in an environment that was not of our own choosing. Me and you did not choose which family to be born into. Me and you did not choose which environment and which society to grow up in. And so as we grew up from childhood, based on the circumstance that we were in, based on the environment that we were placed in, we picked up habits. Each and every single one of us, we picked up habits that became a part of our life. We picked up good, good habits as well as bad habits that formed and shaped our lives later on. And so now, regardless of how old you may be, whether you're still a teenager, whether you're in your 30s, 40s, whether you're in your 50s, 60s, 70s, or 80s, you have habits that you picked up when you were young, that have stayed with you, that have shaped your life, that have become a part of your personality. And so just like we picked up good habits, we also picked up bad habits. And these bad habits have stayed with us. Whether they are to do with bad akhlaq, or whether they are to do with that which is between us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whether it be related to our tongues, lying, swearing, backbiting, al ghiba and al namima whether it be related to our hearts and what our hearts contain of envy, of looking down on others, of arrogance, of hatred for our brothers and sisters, looking down upon them, whether it be related to our eyes and what we look at of haram or our ears and what we have become accustomed to of hearing and listening to, whatever it be, they are bad habits that we have become accustomed to. And so my dear brothers and sisters, there are many out there who either are ignorant of the danger of these bad habits, or they know very well the danger of them, but they have chosen to ignore them. They have chosen to ignore its danger. Instead, giving in to their nafs and living a life as their life has become shaped. 